<laughs> Where are we going next? Let me see. Oh, some Smiths, Smiths related, related news. Yeah. Mm, so okay. we've been speaking to uh, Simon Wollstonecroft, who you might have come across. He was in early incarnations of the Smiths and the Stone Roses, and he played with the Fall as well. So um, a glutton for punishments. And uh, with um, <laughs> with the Smiths and the Stone Roses, you know, each time before they were famous. So kind of an odd career he's had. Um, he's in the news today because uh, he found a lost demo tape of five tracks that he recorded with Johnny Marr and Andy Rourke and Craig Gannon. Um, the group was called Freak Party at the time, um, but they, of course, would evolve into the Smiths once Morrissey joined. So the lead track is called Firefly, and it's been reworked by Mike Bennett, who's a producer. He's also worked with The Fall and The Stone Roses. Uh, and Angie Brown from Bizarre Inc. has recorded new vocals. So Freak Party is, uh, yeah, very <laughs> appropriate. Um, our reporter, Anna Conrad, she spoke to him and the producer, Mike. Uh, she asked about this new song, also why he didn't end up in The Smiths, and has he got any early Stone Roses demos as well? Here he is. <laughs> One day um, I heard uh, Johnny Marr was looking for a guitar and I'd seen him knocking about in a, a pub we used to go in um, called The Vine and Sale, and I thought, wow, he looks cool. Strolled in, cocky as you like. And uh, he had basically said, I'm starting a band, would you, would you play drums for me? You know, I've heard you pretty good. So I said, yeah, OK. So me, Andy and Johnny, for the next sort of year to 18 months, were just rehearsing, rehearsing. Basically, we were playing jazz funk. We were listening to Parliament, Grandmaster Flash. You know, it's a long time ago, this. <laughs> anyway, we recorded a couple of tracks, which is um, how this song Firefly come about. The second song is called Don't Push Your Luck. We took an original recording uh, off a Porter studio from uh, Decibel Studios in Ancoats. The tape was lost for 33 years in an old flight case with uh, covered in mould that was been in the cellar, uh, hidden down the side of the lining in, inside the case. And Mike, uh, who's the producer on this, who have met through the fall and, and Ian Brown, well, what would you say, Mark? Well, the first at least six hours was scraping the mould off the tape, and then it was a question of finding individual parts played by, say, Andy Rourke, Johnny Marr, Simon, de them, and then put them back together in the structure of the songs. Then we had another problem. We had no vocals. That's right. We had no lyrics. So every single day, Simon said... Angie Brown. And who came up with the name Freak Party? I think it was Johnny, was originally, it? yeah. We all got arrested one day, actually. Who's we all? Who's Me, Johnny and Andy, by the Serious Crime Squad. In, well, it was in connection with um, some stolen Lowry prints. But uh, anyway, cut long story short, after that, um, we... Well, Johnny got out of the scene for a couple of months, two or three months kept his nose clean, things were getting bad. We had our own problems, you know, me and Andy. <laughs> he basically came back to me one day, rang me and said, Si, I've got a new band, we are called The Smiths. And I thought, it's a rubbish name. I went to the recording, the first ever recording. Basically didn't like Morris's voice at all, didn't like the cut of his jib. It wasn't funk. <laughs> were also in The Patrol, which was the first incarnation of the Stone Roses. It was a punk band modelled on The Clash. We got into punk, you know, 1977, and me and John would skip off school. We were all in the same class. I was just attracted to Ian. He just, he's just something about him. Yeah. Uh, so do you have any demos from that time during The Patrol? I do, do but the of... rough as toast, really? as Ian says, yeah. Wow. They're not really... They were not as good quality as the one that we've used from no. Free Party. Yeah. We can't really use it. Oh, there's a book there, isn't I there? I know. Incredible story, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Not a genre uncovered. <laughs> Mind-blowing, really, to think you've been in so many <laughs> seminal Manchester bands and for quite long periods, too. Yeah. I mean, this is not just a couple of gigs. That was, so yeah, party. and then... Yeah. I don't know, somehow, well, it just wasn't funk, was it? No, exactly. Morrissey, he wasn't a funky diva, apparently. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the track's out now. Firefly. Here endeth the music news. 